Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. This is going to be the first video in my iOS tutorial series, and today I'm going to teach you how to use Page Controller, which is a feature that a lot of apps actually implement, and a feature I've actually used in my own applications. I'm going to be coding in Swift, and I think it's going to be a lot easier than all of you think, so let's get started. Cool, so here I am in the Xcode homepage. We're gonna create a single view application. I'm gonna call mine page controller. Feel free to call you guys' whatever you want. Um, save it to my desktop is fine. Cool, and now we're here. Um, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna assume that you guys have some sort of prior knowledge in programming and iOS development. If not, feel free to leave me a comment below and I can make a, an entire beginner tutorial series for you guys. Um, but first, I'm going to change this to iPhone 7 just because I have an iPhone 7. Um, and now we're going to mess around with the storyboard a little bit. Um, we're going to need two objects. The first one is called page control. Surprise, surprise. And that looks like th this like three little dots right here. I'm just going to drag that right on top of my view controller. Um, and then what's actually... This is actually pretty important. I'm not gonna mess around with auto layout in this tutorial, just because it kind of like complicates things and I'm gonna make an entire um, separate video all about auto layout. Um, so yeah, we got a page control right there. Um, and then last thing we need is oops, this a scroll view. And that looks like that. So let's just drag that on top and position that nicely. Like so, however, boom. Cool. And that should wrap up our storyboard. Um, let's get down to the programming. So I like creating my connections programmatically. Obviously, if you guys want, you can just drag and drop from the storyboard, but um, this, this way seems to work a little bit better for me. I think it's a bit faster. Um, so we have a page control. This is gonna conform to UI page control. And then a Scroll view. Cool. And now we're gonna create two variables. Um, the first variable is to hold all our images, which we are gonna import right now. So I actually created um, images for my own app, so I'm just gonna use that. Um, I, I created my images using um, Paint, you guys can use whatever software you guys use for graphics. So I'm just gonna drag that in there. I called mine 012. It might be a good idea to call your, your images the same thing just so like you can follow along easier, but it's up to you. So now that we have those images imported, we can create an array. Um, I'm gonna call mine images. It's gonna hold strings. Zero, one, and two. And then lastly, I'm just gonna create um, a, a variable called frame, and then just initialize that um, as a CG rect at zero, zero. And this will make sense to you guys later. Width is gonna be zero, height is gonna be zero. Cool. And now we go down to view did load. And obviously view did load gets called every single time the screen gets loaded. So we're gonna, this is where we're gonna wanna program. Um, our page control. So first thing we need to do is kind of specify how many pages the page control is going to have. And this is going to correlate with how many dots actually appear. So in our case, um, there's going to be three dots, um, one for image one, two, and three. So I'm going to say page control dot number of pages is equal to our images array dot count. Cool. And that will obviously be three. And then I'm going to start a loop um, for index in zero to images dot count. Um, and now this is where I'm going to align the actual scroll view. So I'm saying origin dot oops, origin dot X is equal to scroll view dot frame dot size. Width. And 
this is going to be equal to the actual width of the scroll view times the amount of images we have. So if we have three images, the scroll view should be three times as long. And that should be pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Um, cool. And frame.size is going to be equal to scroll view dot frame size. Perfect. And now we're going to actually gonna initialize an image view, um, set it equal to one of our images, and add that on top of the scroll view. And to do that, we're going to start by saying let image view equal UI image view. And the frame is going to be the frame that we initialized in the very beginning. Cool. And then the actual image that's in the image view is going to be equal to a UI image named images.index. All right. And then lastly, we're going to add that to the scroll view by saying self.scrollView.add subview image view. Cool. So that should be all set up. Um, now we actually got to set up the content size of the scroll view. So this is where like, I want the scroll view to be three times as long comes into play. Um, so I'm going to say scroll view dot content size equals CG size. And the width is going to be equal to scroll view dot frame dot size dot width times CG float images dot cap. And then obviously the height is going to stay constant no matter how many images we have. So I'm just going to say scroll view dot frame dot size dot height. Cool. And then last thing we need is to tell um, to set this view controller as a scroll views delegate. So I'm going to say scroll view dot delegate is equal to self. And this is actually going to give me an error. Um, and that's for a pretty important reason. I, I haven't conformed this view controller to the UI scroll view delegate. So I'm going to do that right now. Cool. And that should take away my error. Awesome. Um, now I'm going to write one scroll view method. And this is going to be called um, did n decelerating, which should make sense to you guys. So this is going to be called every time the scroll view ends decelerating. And every single time it ends decelerating, um, we're going to want to do a couple of things. Um, we're going to want to actually change the image and set the page control to the current page. So we're going to say var page number. And that's going to be equal to um, scroll view dot content offset dot x divided by scroll view dot frame dot size dot width. So this will tell us what actual page we're on, and then we can set the page control dot current page to that page, just like that. All right. And so hypothetically, every time we swipe, um, oh, oops, sorry, I have the int page number. Cool. Um, so if we scroll, um, oops, cool. Um, so if we scroll to the second image, the second dot should be highlighted. If we scroll to the third image, the third dot should be highlighted. And that should be all the code. Um, before I forget, we do need to connect our outlets on the storyboard. So I'm gonna just right click there, find my page control, boom. And then find my scroll view, just like that. And you'll see like this gets highlighted and that tells you that it's connected. And then if we actually go back to our view controller and scroll up, you'll see that the two outlets are now connected. Um, so I'm gonna run this and that should, that should work. Cool. That's always a good sign. Cool. And we see our first image is there. 
And then if I scroll, our second image, and then our third image. Um, but if you guys notice, there is there are a couple problems right here. Um, first of all, like I don't, I don't want to be able to scroll like like this. I want to like kind of zip to the next page, and then our page control doesn't seem to be showing up. But I think that's just because it's on a white background. Um, so let me check that. I'm gonna go here, boom, and change the tint color. Let's just go red, and then you see a little dot there. Um, so I change the change the background as well. Why not? Nice black color. All right, so now that should be visible. And now to actually fix that scroll view thing, um, you want to click on the scroll view, um, scroll up, and actually check this box that says paging enabled, and that will allow us to um, actually focus page to page. So now if we run that again, um, that should fix our problems. Cool. So you see the page control actually shows up this time. And if I scroll and let go, it zooms right to the next picture and you see it actually changes on the page control, just like that. And that basically wraps up this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching and happy coding.